How do you price a home in a transitioning market? For the first time in two years, buyers feel like they have options and your home is competing with other homes on the market for attention. Now, more than ever, it is so important to hire someone with experience. From a pricing strategy to a marketing plan that'll knock it out of the park, the presentation of your home will affect the final sales price. The price you list your home for sends a message to potential buyers. Price it too low, it may raise concerns. Price it too high and you can deter buyers. When a home hits the market, you better believe that buyers are looking up values, the last sold price, neighborhood comparables, and not to mention every online portal's estimated home value. Now, whether these online values are right or wrong, that's another story. Nope. 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 Mm -mm. Hell no. no. The bottom line is that these numbers do influence buyers' opinions. If a buyer believes that a home is priced too high, it'll drastically impact how quickly they rush out to view a home, the urgency they have to make an offer, and the overall market demand. With all of the information a potential buyer can collect online by the time they walk through a front door, it is truly like a second showing. With more homes on the market, buyers are spending more time analyzing homes before viewing them in person. As a seller, the marketing plan and presentation online must be dialed in to pull buyers in. I spend more time than I ever have working on pricing and ultimately a pricing strategy. I honestly can't stress how important this is. Where you start and how you start will impact your bottom line.